What is good everybody, it's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video and today is a brand new day. I'm sorry I've been going for a little bit guys, just going through a lot of stuff, nothing financial or stuff like that, Some just some more mentally physical things I'm talking about later down the road, you know, so you guys can know not to, not to keep it real with you guys, you know how to Mr. Different, 100%. But besides the point, today we're going to be doing my very first vocal tutorial effect in you know 2021 i can't wait i love the vocal tutorials you know especially vocal effect tutorials because you know there's always an ever changing landscape of people trying to figure out how to get these certain sounds from their favorite artist or singer or whatever producer and i just want to kind of help out there and there's some of my best videos out there and there's some of the most fun i ever had on my channel so i want to get back to this today oh before i continue if you can help me out i need your guys' ideas leave the artist name the song name and if it's a specific part or a specific sound you want me to do leave that in the comments below help me make these videos and with your guys' help and your guys suggestions i can make a bunch of these videos and continue to just explore my creativity and kind of help you guys out along the way so don't forget leave those comments below i need to know what you guys must see but anyway today we're gonna be doing a travis scott vocal tutorial in 2021 yes why because i like travis scott travis scott's still one of my favorite artists his vocal uh, style is ever changing um i think i finally nailed it better than my previous videos from like last year and year before that i think i finally nailed the sound just right so i want to show you guys what i learned and it's easier than ever too so that's why i want to show you this video so let's go ahead and dive inside of the daw and let's go ahead and do this vocal tutorial i'm ready let's get it lego so here we are inside of studio one and don't worry you can do this with any daw i'm not gonna be using any crazy effects that you have to really pay for um i will pretty much give you guys alternatives to anything i use that way you can well and if you can you can just use the stock versions of whatever i'm using and get the same effect i've done before um and if you guys want me to i will also do it with stock plugins if you want me to but that's only if but it doesn't really matter i mean you should be buying some dope plugins anyway or there's a bunch of free ones out there that are pretty dope anyway so let's go ahead and jump to that so here i got here got this setup so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and switch microphones to my condenser microphone because that's gonna sound a lot better when i start doing the wrapping now so let's go ahead and switch my microphones and let's get back into the video let go all right so now we're inside of the studio one and i have my microphone set i'm using the aston audio spirit microphone but it doesn't really matter and also got the comment on here you know so because you guys were saying uh, you like the comment not a good stuff so i want to you know make some videos more using it so you can see that i really do use this thing i like it it's a great uh, uh oddball alternative link in the description below a video somewhere up there where you can check out the full review of this so let's go ahead and get into this vocal effect tutorial first off, i'm just gonna throw a limiter on my voice that way you can hear me a lot better this is really not gonna do anything special you don't need to do this this is just to make my voice a lot louder so you guys can hear me better when i'm doing this so all right let's begin with this vocal effect tutorial so first off you need to have a clean vocal that's the first thing else so um if you haven't watched my video on how to get clean vocal uh pretty much clean vocals period then you need to watch that video because it teaches now i'm going to go through the basic stuff that i do to get the clean vocal real quick and you know if you want to see a more in-depth video there will be a link in the description below and you can just search in clean vocals on my uh, video and it's the most recent one i did and it's really good so first off i'm gonna throw on my r box that's just gonna be a gate and just a little bit of compression nothing special so anytime i stop talking it's just gonna cut out the background noise so that's all it's doing right there so nothing special there y'all seen that in my video Next up, I'm going to add an EQ. Now, this is the Pro Q EQ, uh, Pro Q3 by Fab Filter, one of my favorite EQs. I'm just going to do a little bit of, you know, low cut and, you know, nothing special, just about 60 hertz. And then I know that this microphone is kind of uh, low mid focus. I'm going to bring some of those low mids out. And I'm just gonna bring up a little bit of presence. So I just have a little bit of presence around 5K. Um, this is not gonna be specific to the vocal tutorial. This is gonna be specific to your artist and your microphone. So EQ according to your artist and your microphone and your room and all that. Don't EQ based off what I'm showing you guys. You ain't gotta do this, but just, just help me get a cleaner sound as you can see, and that's it. And then I'm gonna throw in a little bit of compression. Uh, I'm using the Fab Filter Pro C2. If it pops up, where the hell is it? Ain't it popping up? Oh, it's over here. Mother, yeah, there it is. On um, the Pro C2 from the guys at Fab Filter, just another compressor. It's just doing a little bit of compression, nothing special there. This is going to kind of keep my vocals in check and not, you know, make sure you don't distort and all that. And that's it. I will make a full video on how to use compression. Don't worry. And then last but not least, adding a little bit of de essing because I have a lot of sibilance in my voice. And this de esser, if it, why is everything on the second monitor? 
I need to stop that. Um, <laughs> and this is going to kind of keep me from, you know, peeking to it because without it, you know, you can see it just kind of suppresses down those S's a little bit. So that's it. So that's how you get a clean vocal. Good. Now let's actually get into the vocal effect. That's what you guys want to hear. And all the time sense in down below. So first off, obviously, Travis Scott always uses all tone on his vocals. Whether he's using a little bit or a lot, where he's rapping or he's somewhat singing, he's always using auto tone. Now I'm gonna use the uh, Waze auto tone because it is the easiest one to use in my opinion. It's really affordable. It always goes on sale on um, Waze Audio. I'll put a link in the description below for that if you want to get it as well. It's a really good uh, auto tune alternative, very affordable, still sounds good. But when it comes to Travis Scott. Uh, auto tune settings you want to make sure that it is full tilt meaning it is the fastest retune speed and the fastest note transition because he just has obvious auto tune he doesn't have no slight auto tune it's just straight up uh fast retune speed fast note transition that's what he likes and that's what it is but make sure that you always set your auto tune to the key of your beat do not set it to what i have because this is the key of this beat that i got off youtube um but set it to the key of your beat. So if your beat is C sharp minor or major, set it to that. That way you get the best results. Don't set it to what you see here. This is specifically for this one beat I got right here. So keep that in mind. And I will make a video talking about that. So now with it on, as you can hear, I have that auto tune, that auto tune, y'all straight up. You know, it just has that straight up uh, auto tune effect right there straight up all the way full tilt cool now that's the first step you're pretty much halfway done next up he uses a combination of reverb and delay now i have found the perfect travis scott reverb delay plugin out there and it's absolutely free yes it's absolutely free and you need to download this plugin because this will give you an instant travis scott vocal like super quick i mean easy and it is called valhalla super massive i made a review about this it's still a free plugin and this plugin will instantly give you that travis scott ambient vocal sound it's one of the best delay slash reverb plugins a combination of both of them it's really dope so i got set to an effects bus and for this beat in particular i got set to the uh quarter notes um yeah one quarter one was it one quarter i think it's a quarter note. I don't know, y'all know, I don't know my time divisions. And I got to set full tilt. And I got this mode right here, this Laura um, mode right here. And that just gives like a cool, like ambient sound. So once I actually crank it on, you actually hear just the delay and the reverb together. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the all tune back on and then let me crank on this space verse. So, yeah, straight up. Oh, straight up. And then, of course, you can tailor that to your specific sound. But yes, Supermassive is an underrated plugin. I know I got a couple other plugins I'm going to show similar to Supermassive. But if you want a free one, get Supermassive. It works. And then on top of that, let's talk about the Travis Scott kind of bridgey sound. So when Travis Scott is doing like a bridge or whatever, um, you ever notice like that wide sounding sound like he has like when he's doing bridges? Well, I think I figured out how to get that sound. And it's just basically using a chorus plugin. So any chorus plugin will work. So for example, I'm going to be using the one from the guys at Arturia because I mean, I fuck with Arturia really heavy and they released this one. It was free at one point. I think it's, you got to buy it now, but it was free at one point and I, I should have made a video about it. I, I do apologize, but it's a really good delay. It's basically based off the Juno six chorus and I said delay chorus and that's all it is. So basically when you set this chorus up, you want to have a high depth. So any course you use, you want to make sure your depth is all the way up and then you want to adjust the rate until it, it is where you want it to be. Now you can do a time to bit. You can actually tempo sync it or not, but just mess around with the rate until you get the sound you want. But this will give you kind of that wide sounding uh, vocal. So for example, when I turn it on, yeah, straight up, Travis Scott. Oh, yeah, Travis Scott, vocal effect. And that's it. I mean, it's that simple. It's that simple. So, as you can see, it's just a little bit of auto tone, a really good de uh, delay reverb effect. Like I said, you super massive, or there's other ones out there I'm gonna make some reviews about. And then if you want to get that kind of bridgey sound, hit that chorus. So, y'all already know what time it is. It's time for a freestyle. I'm gonna be coming in and out with these effects so you can actually hear it in real time. And then, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy with this. So let's go ahead and do this freestyle and get it going. So let me turn everything back on and let's do it. Yo. Oh. 
This the Travis Scott vocal effect. I don't sound like Travis though. Back up on my game, about to do it right. Talking all that shit, hating on me, I don't get it. They hating on me, why? Cause I don't know, I'm about to get it. They don't like me, but I don't really care. Back on my grind, back on my tongue. Hating on me on the vine, don't tell no sign. They don't like me cause I get it, I go and I low Hating on me when I grind on the low Getting this money and what do you know I be on top of my game Smoking hella on that pressure Hating on me, I just do whatever If they don't like me, that's cool Doing what I gotta do They don't like me cause I'm cool I am that nigga in my zone Hating on me but they can't move alone They don't like me cause they know I be blown and strong And when it let me long I'm in my zone, I'm in my zone, leave me alone, I'm doing me and you be hating, I'm sitting back, I'm patiently waiting for my time, my time, I say I know, I gotta do it right, hating on me all the night, they don't like what I be doing, I be all up in my zone, they be hating on me, why? Cause they all know that I am gone Oh yeah, yeah, yeah They hating on me, that's cool, I'm about to get it They hating I'm gon' win They don't like me cause they know I'm on my, I stay up on my I stay up on my run Oh, uh. oh, uh. yeah Oh wow Oh wow So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Like always, y'all know who it is, your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different. Like I said, once again, a Travis Scott vocal effect. Very simple, very easy. A little bit of all tone. After you get your vocals cleaned up, use that chorus effect for bridge and stuff like that, and just find yourself a good delay reverb plugin. Like I said, with Super Master, it's super easy to get that fit. And it's a free plugin. So I don't know why you ain't got it yet. I told you guys to get it when I did a review. You need to get Super Master. It's really dope. I got a bunch of videos using it, so definitely get it but yeah as you can see that vocal fit super easy to do very clean let's like say i don't sound like travis scott of course because i'm not travis scott but i do have a similar vocal effect and hopefully guys you can use this in your production and your recordings and stuff like that for your artists or if you're artist yourself and get the effects you're looking for so with that being said if you can follow me on instagram twitter and soundcloud mr different tv when i say SoundCloud, i'm freaking you soundcloud but also subscribe to the channel if you can hit the bell notification leave a comment below if you want to see any more vocal effects out there i need the guys know so tell me the artist tell me the song and tell me what kind of effect you want me to go for and i'll try to do my best to get that done so with that being said y'all know who is your favorite nappy headed producer with the twist mr different not motivated by the money but the like comments, kind and views and with that being said hope you guys enjoy like always and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next video really soon and don't take me about five weeks or a month to do another video so let me say hope you guys enjoy catch you guys next video i'm out everybody yeet